Hi guys, we are here with uh, Lynn Sanders and we have uh, Jolene uh, Brink and you guys are here to talk about Water Maps. Water Maps is a art installation that's happening this Friday, first Friday here in December. Uh, this is the last uh, show I'm doing in November, uh, but this Friday is December 1st and it's first Friday and uh, the weather is looking like, you know, wintery weather, but it's a good way to be indoors and look at some art. So. Let's talk about your art installation. You guys are collaborating, right? We are. Yep. Yeah, we decided to do this collaboration in February um, when I had a collaboration with another artist and Jolene looked at the art and said, let's collaborate. <laughs> and I had an exhibit last summer that I was excited to experiment with and I really thought that my ideas would play really well with what Linz was doing and so we set out to think about the things that we had in common and I really like maps and Linz told me that she really likes painting whales <laughs> and so we said all right let's figure out uh, how to put those two together. Cool. So I, I did notice when I was kind of reading just brushing up on a, before the interview that you guys use uh, old recycled maps as a uh, canvas for mm -hmm. yards. Yep, recycled maps um, as well as historic documents and um, my grandfather was an engineer, so I also have his notebooks, and um, so some of his writing is in the show of his calculations and um, and his his kind of blueprint drawings. Cool. And, and, yep. oh. oh, and 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 with that, um, I also use a lot of encaustic wax. So playing with what happens when you take oh. those old documents and you put hot wax on top, and all of a sudden the text. You can see it on both sides of it, and so we've talked a lot about in our collaboration about different layers and what that means to put into the work into the concept of the collaboration. And uh, where is this event happening? The E three Convergence Gallery. Wow! And uh, uh, on con on on con sticks. Uh, in caustics. And caustics. Uh, man, because um, I remember that the Zach was doing a little uh, 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 like a prep, kind of like a uh, introductory class to it as well. And I was like, I was looking at, it, I was like, how do you pronounce this word? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of strange. And and some of the encaustics I was working with was um, from my friend, and he um, works with bees, and so it's his like bees wax. Wow. Yeah. Um, and Jolene's working with some really rich colors in the encaustics. You can really get some some neat colors and layers with them. Cool, but this isn't the only thing that's gonna be at this installation as well because this is a, gonna be like a big multimedia um, mixed art kind of uh, event. So what kind of uh, types of art are gonna, are, can people expect? Um, well, um, along with aquatic animals painted onto Montana maps, um, I've also created ceramic coral reefs. So, mm -hmm. um, you can kind of enjoy visiting the ocean floor um, with some ceramics. And I really love to play with putting different things on transparencies and putting that against the wall. So we'll have a really, really big piece where um, I took old US Geologic Service maps from Montana, printed them on the old fashioned transparency like people used to have in schools. And um, if you can imagine, you would like put it on the projector and it would right. be on the wall. Um, and you take that and you put the ink down on the contact paper and pull it back. And so it's a, just a different way of printmaking. And so we'll have a large piece like that to go alongside um, Linz's clay and, and paintings. That's really cool. Yeah. And um, I'm, uh, this sounds really exciting. It's like a whole array, a prethra of visuals <laughs> that people can enjoy at E3. And it's going to oh. be happening first Friday from uh, 5 to 8 p.m. But five if you to miss nine. 5 to 9, yeah, we'll see you know, it the extra hour at E3 Convergence <laughs> Gallery. Um, but also, it's, it's the beginning of the art installation, right? Mm -hmm. So it's going to be there from then until pretty much the whole month of December? Yep. 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 December 30th. So if you miss the first Friday, you have plenty of chances to check out E3, which is usually open like everywhere else that's open downtown Missoula, which is after 11, I guess. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so is there anything else you guys want to say? Where can people find more information about your art and you guys'? Um... Yeah, um, you can find it on Convergence Gallery, um, their website, and also on Facebook, mm -hmm. under Water Maps. Cool. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for joining me. Yeah, thanks, Scott. Um, I will, I will see you guys Friday um, for one thing or another because uh, we also have our flagship as well. Yep, that sounds great. <laughs> so.